Hey everyone, it's Random Guy. Before I get into the guide, I'm going to reveal the winner of last week's 50 mil giveaway. So let's see who it is. And it's MSC Felipe. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Congrats, man. I'll get in touch with you and give you your winnings. Now to enter this week's 50 mil giveaway, just type your RuneScape name followed by hashtag Glaycor in the comments below. Now these giveaways are only for my subscribers, so if you want to join, just click that subscribe button. I do giveaways every week for my followers. If you want a shot at up to 7 more monthly giveaways on top of the 4 that I do on YouTube, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. Now that that's over, let's get into what you all came here to see. So for your armor, you're going to be wearing Sirenic armor. If you don't have Sirenic, Pernix will do. Next up is a ranged Tazar cape, or a defense cape, or a max cape if you got one. For your weapons, you're going to be using Ascensions or Blight Bounds. For your gloves, you're going to be using Nightmare Gauntlets, and the boots will be Fleeting Boots. Now for your ring, once you have it upgraded to tier 3 using the anima that this boss drops, you will be using that instead of a LOTD, but until then, just use an LOTD. For your ammo, you can bring Ruby Backermental Bolts and then Diamond Backermental Bolts for the end. And then finally, for the essence of finality, I have in it a Dark Bow spec, but you could also use an Amulet of Souls. Now for your inventory, use the best overloads you have, and Adrenaline Renewal Potions or Adrenaline Potions, whatever you have the Herb Lord to have or make. Then we have Prayer or Super Restore Potions followed by Shield. Now during this fight, he spawns minions. I use Chinchampas to immediately take all of those minions out with one or two abilities. Next up is a Ripper Demon or a follower of your choosing. I mean, it really doesn't matter too much. Next up is an Ancient Elven Ritual Shard. And lastly, there's an Enhanced Excalibur just for extra heals, you know? For my Archaeology Relics, I use Death Ward for more tankiness, Berserker's Fury for more DPS output, and Fury of the Small so I can get to my thresholds faster. So throughout this fight, I'm going to be praying Soul Split because I can outheal what he damages but I will also tell you how to actually know what to pray. So like I said with these minions, what I do is I put on my chinchampas and I just use a couple abilities and boom, they're dead. I actually just used one there and then just back on the boss. Now I just use a death swiftness and just DPS a little bit. What he does is random every couple auto attacks. He can do the same thing twice in a row, so be ready for that. Now I'm not really DPSing as hard as I could, I'm manually clicking every single ability that Revo is not doing, just so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So as you see the icicles are moving in from the left, so I move to the right. This means that the pillar is about to appear, and if it touches you, it'll deal rapid damage to you and take away 8% of your full prayer points. So all you do is you just move around really slowly. Personally, I don't even really care if it hits me. It deals minimal damage, and all I have to do is just sip a restore. It's, it's not too bad. So I go into the middle right here, and as you see, he puts his arms down on both sides of me. All you do is you put one of his arms down to zero HP and then surge out. That's it. So now he's doing his one hit attack. If you do have all of the customizations active, this could and most likely will one hit you. All you do is just put on a shield and resonance and you're done. So you see when he's attacking me right now, he puts out that green mist. That means it's a range attack. And you see right here when he puts his arm all the way up in the air before hitting you? That is a mage attack. The only time you will take melee during this entire damage is if you get hit by the rows of crystals that appear. And now it's just repeating a little bit.
There you go, back to the one hit. All you do, resonance it. There we go. A lot of times I actually keep my HP low because I know that that is going to heal me all the way back up. So why waste the food, right? And also having low HP makes it so Death Ward makes me tankier and Berserker's Fury makes me hit harder. It all just works. And there we go. That's the kill. That's the entire thing. It's actually not too bad. I will have a guide coming out about hard mode later on. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Good luck with that RNG. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.